Why are narcissists so negative? To be negative means to be consistent in or characterized by the absence rather than the presence of distinguishing features. When a person is negative towards you, you may view it as being undesirable and unwanted behavior. It might be something that you don't want to be around, something that you don't want to be involved in. The negativity may be directed towards you, but that doesn't mean that it has anything personally to do with you. If you think about something being negative, it means to take something away or to be lacking the quantity or quality required to be insufficient for a purpose. It means that they do not have enough. When they are being negative towards you, it is because they are deficient in something. They do not have enough of a specified quality or ingredient. When they are being negative towards you, they are also taking what they need from you. They are extracting it out of you and then using it as their own to sustain them, to strengthen and support them physically and mentally. The narcissist is negative towards you because you have what they want. You have what they need to survive emotionally. They cannot produce it on their own. So they have to extract it out of you through forcible and often underhanded means. When they are being negative towards you, it is because they are deficient in something. They don't have enough and they cannot produce it on their own. So they have to devalue and degrade you, publicly humiliate and exploit you, treat you with contempt, whatever it takes to strip you of your power and force you to hand it over to them. They want your power. They want your energy. They want your stability and security. Everything that you need to sustain yourself is also what they need to survive emotionally. The difference is that you can produce it on your own while they do not have the ability to do this. So the only thing that they can do is steal it from you. They cannot engage in anything positive because they do not have a positive amount. They do not have positive qualities or a positive quantity. They are insufficient or inadequate. For a person to be positive, they must first have everything that they need so that they then have enough to share with other people. The narcissist never has enough and they will never have enough. They steal from other people to sustain them, but it only lasts for a short period of time. They are like a bucket with a leak at the bottom. Anything that you pour into them will soon leak out. And then they will go back to feeling insufficient or inadequate again. They will go back to being negative, which means that they need to extract more from you. They need more of your power, more of your energy, more of your stability and security because they can't produce it on their own. They're like a black hole. They have a void within them. 
a completely empty space. And the only way that they can fill the space is to suck the life out of you. Draining you of everything that you possess. Stripping you of everything good about you. Which could then leave you feeling negative. It can leave you feeling completely drained and lifeless. You can, be you can become very depressed. Because they have stripped you of everything that made you who you are. So you then begin to feel negative. Because everything that once made you feel positive is what they have now taken from you. They had to take it from you. So that they could survive emotionally. Everything they do revolves around emotional survival. They want to feel good. But since they abandoned their true self, the only way that they can feel good is to extract qualities from the people around them. This is the only way that they can survive emotionally. If they could get it from within, I'm sure they would do that. It would be so much easier for them, far less effort involved. And then they would have an abundance of good things whenever they want it. But that's just not possible for the narcissist. They refuse to self-reflect or look within. They refuse to deal with their emotional trauma. So the only way that they are going to get it is by extracting it from other people. Leaving everyone around them feeling miserable or depressed. Although narcissists do tend to group up together where they can then bond with the extraction of fuel from one specific target. This is how they manage to keep the peace between them while still getting their needs met. This target is often known as a scapegoat child. I have a playlist of videos on the scapegoat child which I recommend checking out. The scapegoat child becomes a target of family members and even the community because they possess something that they don't. They have something special that they have held on to for a very long time. And that is the energy that they possess. Their physical and mental powers. The strength and vitality required for sustained physical or mental activity. The ability to feel alive without any external validation. Narcissists do not have this ability. They have to extract all of the good stuff out of you because they don't have any of their own. And that is why they are so negative. They are negative because they are lacking the quantity or quality required. They are insufficient for a purpose. And you have what they want. Which is why they will often seem so frustrated and resentful towards you. They will express their anger or annoyance because they feel as though they have been treated unfairly. When you have something that someone wants and you want to hold on to it because it's yours and you want to sustain yourself, if you are dealing with a narcissist, they will act negative towards you. They will try to take it from you because they are self-absorbed and lack empathy. They cannot produce what they strongly desire and need to survive. So they get mad. They get angry. And if you won't willingly hand it over, they will plot and scheme to try to take it from you. They are trying to survive emotionally. And if you look at their emotions and their behaviour, it will reveal that this is what they are trying to do. You may even notice that once they have acted negative towards you or taken something from you, they then appear to be positive. That is because they are using your power and energy to sustain them. 
But remember, it doesn't last. They're like a bottomless bucket, an empty void. Nothing will ever sustain them. They will always be miserable. They will always be dissatisfied. While you have an abundance of what you need within yourself, and you don't need to take it from anyone else. That's something a narcissist cannot do. Which is why they will forever remain dependent on other people for their emotional stability and survival. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at narcsforthecoaching at gmail.com. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.